Welcome to Streets Gotta Eat. It's your boy Joshua Black. I'm with the Nashville Scene, and today we're talking hot chicken. Which Nashville mayor started the Nashville Hot Chicken Festival? Was it Bill Parcell, Megan Berry, Bart Durham, or John Cooper? Megan Berry. Ah, it's Bart Durham, actually. See you later. <laughs> Do you like Nashville Hot Chicken or Memphis Barbecue? Whoa, the answer is both. You don't put two baddies together and make them fight, you have a threesome. <laughs> when it comes to chicken, do y'all like it light or dark? Yes, light. When it comes to women, light or dark? Dark, you know chocolate is the best. I love beautiful chocolate women. I'm gonna give him a word, it's a food, and y'all have to guess what it is. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Big Mac. Chick-fil-A. Walker. Big Mac. Quarter Pounder. Hamburger Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, Nashville Hot Chicken came into existence because a man cheated on his wife and he poisoned his food with the spice in it. Is this true or false? Prince's Chicken? Yeah, that's the story I've heard about Prince's Chicken. True or false? You get free drinks at Kid Rock's Bar if you have chlamydia. Sorry, man, that's true. Let's go. Nashville hot chicken was invented in the 1930s, 1970s, or the 2000s? 1930s. 1930s? 70s? The 30s! And now for the elephant in the room. Are Hattie B's and other white-owned hot chicken spots appropriating black culture? Well, I can't tell somebody not to sell hot chicken, but I have seen national news articles give credit to white-owned businesses for starting hot chicken, and that's not cool. First humans on earth were black, and these Africans by the Nile Valley created the written word, language, geometry, astrology, astronomy, the concept of time, calendars. And Plato and Socrates came into Africa, learned these things, took it back to Greece, and now they're known as the fathers of knowledge, and they get credit for giving civilization to the world. And the Africans' accomplishments are completely hidden, and they're painted as savages and slaves. This is what's taught in the school. There's nothing wrong with a white person starting a Chinese restaurant selling Chinese food. But if a white person starts a Chinese restaurant and sells Chinese food and calls it white food, you're still in culture. So if the media or even a customer asks, where did hot chicken come from, say the black community.